One thing that you can do, and this is a, a very active area of research recently, is change the prompt. And so we saw an example of role prompting when we said you are a helpful chatbot just a moment ago. Uh, there's lots and lots of other things you can do to change the prompt. Uh, and so here's, uh, here's one of my favorite examples, and you'll see why I say this in a minute, uh, but I swear I did not customize this lecture, or at least this portion of it, for MIT. And so if you prompt a model, what is 100 by 100 divided by 400 times 56, it will give you the answer 280. I will save you all from doing the mental math in your head. That is not the right answer. If you prompt the model with you are an MIT mathematician, <laughs> what you find is it very happily returns the correct answer. And so again, I didn't, this is the example that I have used from learnprompting.org uh, for almost two years now, but I was delighted to, to be able to come to give this lecture to this audience. Uh, it's interesting to think about why this might be correct. And so I can help to build some intuition for it. I think it would take quite a bit to formally prove this out. I think the intuition is all that the model is trying to do at the end of the day is predict the right next word. What this says to me is in this case, a lot of people who populated the training data for this model, which means a lot of people on the internet are bad at math.